Imagine a vehicle that's half scooter, half car. It's electric, has four wheels, usually a couple of seats, and a real cabin. Well, in China, it's actually very common. Microcars are about a third the size of regular ones, which makes them extremely easy to park. Welcome to the northern town of Gautang. Here, mini EVs are everywhere. Around 1.75 million of these tiny EVs were sold in China last year, most in rural parts of the country. Officially, they're called LS EVs, or low speed electric vehicles, for obvious reasons. But that's even better, according to mini car owners like Ms. Li. You may think, as you're watching this video, that driving with a child in one's lap doesn't really seem safe. And you would be right. Safety is definitely an issue. You don't even need a driver's license for these. Again, the mini car crowd sees it as a big advantage. But probably the biggest selling point is that these tiny cars are cheap, extremely cheap, and not particularly high tech. There are now more than 400 companies making tiny EVs in China. Even foreign ones are hoping to get in on the action. This Italian startup is building a 3D printed model for the Chinese market. But not all are pleased by the success of tiny EVs, especially China's homegrown electric vehicles champions, with heavy subsidies and dreams of becoming global leaders in the sector. To raise its international profile, EV maker BYD even hired Leonardo DiCaprio in 2016 as its brand ambassador. Make history. Some Chinese cities have already banned them outright, citing safety. The small car's use of substandard lead-acid batteries is another concern. Regulating this market will be a tricky balancing act for the government. These tiny, slow and super cheap vehicles are particularly popular with ordinary Chinese, like Ms. Li, who didn't have a car before and doesn't want to go back to riding the bus.